Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Long Beach State Dynasty here in season number two. Now, we started last episode off in season two, and we went one and one. Not a bad start. I think this is going to be a little bit of a learning curve for this team, especially since, you know, we're losing our leading scorer in, in Wendell Caesar and adding some new pieces to the offense, but they do fit a bit different than what we're used to. Now, in the first game of this episode, we go up against Wisconsin, and honestly, we had little chance in this one, and you can see. They win by 44, 84 to 40, and they re out rebounded us by 20 rebounds. They had 25 assists to our 10, so we do not start out this episode on the right foot. Now, in the next game, we go up against Marquette. I want to play this game. Marquette's probably the toughest team we'll face here this season, and remember how you had to schedule these games. They had to accept your invite. But we do have some bad news coming off of that game. Baz Helcott is injured for a month. He got hurt in that previous game, and it might be a reason why we got out-rebounded the way we did. And that definitely hurts in the middle. So right now, we're going to start Jorge Ta Takahashi. I don't want to say Takashi anymore. Takahashi in that at that center position. And hopefully that will uh, you know, offset what Marquette can do. And... I don't know if we really, really have a good chance in this game, but it's worth fighting for, of course. So let's see if we can upset Marquette on the road in a packed house here at the Bradley Center in Milwaukee. And let's see what our team can do. Here is Storm already it, mishandling the ball on the first possession. And look at that <laughs> miss layup. But he gets his own rebound and laid up and in. And that will be an early two-point lead here for Marquette. So here is Spratly this time getting to the hoop and throwing it down in the lane. Spratly, how about him? He does have some skills getting to the lane. And that one does tie this game up at two apiece. So Zion Storm misses the three-point shot as Marquette sets up their offense, driving the lane and a foul on Spratly in an and one. Wow. Salasabal, is that his last name? Salasabal goes to the free throw line and does hit the free throw. And that one does give them the early three-point lead. So here is Marquette now with possession. And they love to run this motion offense and get some open shots. But they work it inside this time. And that's an easy two over Del Matrice Bamaye. Nice pass. And that one does make it a 7-2 to two lead. But early on, we do have some shooting woes. Joyner misses the open three on that one as Marquette takes it the other way on the next possession. Passing it inside. Another jump shot over. J.D. Joyner, that is good. Nine points early on for Marquette. And our offense can't get going just yet. So working it around this time. Passing it inside. Their big man over Del Matrice Bomaye. It's a 9-0 run to start this game. We call the timeout to hopefully stop momentum. And Marquette takes the early nine-point lead. But look at this drive to the lane. This time spin and layup. And that is good. And I don't know how we're going to stop that. I mean, we know they have the talent gap here that's very, very large. But if we get our guys open for three, we can possibly get back into this game. But here's an offensive rebound that time. And that is going to be, I believe that was uh, Trevor. Yeah, it was w Williams on that one. Trevor Williams in on the rebound as J.D. Joyner gets going. A little floater that time with a little bit of contact, bringing it to a 15-6 to game. So now here's a steal this time in transition, working around to Trevor Williams. He throws it down. We're right back in this game, 8-15. to 15, As now we create a little bit of momentum. Here's Dalton Jett with the ball. He gets it ripped away, but we get the ball back. Back out to Jett. Open three. It's good. It's now a four-point game. Now our offense is starting to get going. So down by four this time. We get a pass inside, and we allow that Bennett. He has eight points already for Marquette. So now here's Marquette on offense, an eight-point lead now, 19-11. A corner three, and it's good. 11-point lead this time. Salasa Ball hits that one for his sixth point of the game. But in transition, open three, J.D. Joyner, that is off the mark. He has not been the same so far to start this year. But here in transition, and look at the speed of Marquette. 
I mean, this is going to be a tough game for us playing defense against a very good team. And now here they are working it inside. And and one. Trevor Williams, it's a loss of ball again. He gets the and one conversion. I don't know how you stop this. You can't play much better defense. We stopped them at the rim, and they still got it to go with the contact. So now in the first half, they're up by 20 now. And look at the defense they are playing, trying to work it around to the corner for a corner three, but it's deflected. And now here's Bennett at point guard. He's going to push it inside, and it's an easy layup. Nobody stops the ball, and it's an and one. He must have bumped Buster Howard, and he did. He bumped him, and they called the foul, and one. And Marquette already up big here in the first half. But here's Dalton Jett with the three, and maybe that breaks momentum a little bit, but we are down by 23 points. So here's Bennett. Another fadeaway three, or a deep two on that one. 44 to 19. Marquette is just dominating in this one. As we get Joyner open in the corner for a three, and he does hit it, bringing it to a 22-point game. But now with eight seconds left, they're going to hold for the last shot. This is Bennett getting the pick, and they do call the offensive foul on that moving screen. And now we get the last shot of the half. It's 4.3 seconds left. Dalton Jett is ripped, and they get the last shot. What is the chances of that? I mean, we're running the ball to the court, get one last shot, and they rip us. And that's how this half ends, 22 to 44. It was just straight dominance from Marquette. We had no answer for their offense. And boy, this is going to be a tough second half. So can we come back here in the second half? I'm not sure. 36% from the field. They're shooting 56% from the field. They have 12 assists to our four. And they have just been hitting everything. I mean, whatever they want, they get as we hop into the second half now. Starting it out with some good D that time on Bennett as we push it up the core. This time it's Dalton Jett. He backs out to the three, and he does make it. I love what Dalton Jett brings off the bench. He's going to be a very good scorer for us. He's got speed, too, with the ball, and he also can create his own shot. So now it's a 19-point lead this time. Here is Jet. This time he does get away with the offensive foul, possibly, but out to Kentavian Morgan for the three. It's back to a 16-point lead. Here is Bamaye, open three, and that one is off, rebounded by Marquette. They will push this up the floor in transition. They are a fast, up-tempo team, but they can play the half-court offense as well, but they have the speed to run with anybody in the country. It looks like they're trying to get Bennett open, and he does get inside for an open layup. And that motion offense that they run is very, very good. It's now a back to about a 20-point lead here. We're playing some defense, staying in this game a little bit as Long Beach as we do get it to Jet. Jet to Spratly in transition. Nice pass that time, setting Spratly up for the open layup. And it's now a 16-point lead. Here's Spratly, a pick and roll, and he takes it all the way in a dunk in traffic. It's now a 14-point lead, maybe a little bit of a comeback here. But Marquette has answers for that. Drive into the lane. That's an easy bucket that time over Joseph Spratley. And now it's up to an back to an 18 point lead here. Nine to go here in the first half or in the second half as we get a little dish inside to Bamaye, but it's blocked. But a nice rebound by Dalton Jett. Heads up offense by him. But this lead will just not go away. Here is Bennett. Deep three. It's good. A 19 point game here for Marquette. And now they're going to start to close it out, working it inside. They have a great inside-out game. Now it's a 19-point lead, working it around the perimeter. Four minutes left, working it inside. Fade away. Two, and it's good. How can you stop that? Per perfect defense on that one. And somehow they get it to go. And now look at this, a little bit of luck involved. Throwing it off the backboard, off the rim. They get the deflection, and they lay it up. And now it's a 24-point lead. Here's Bamaye driving the lane, and he at least gets an and one. But it might just be a too little, too late here. And now under a minute left. Storm with the pick. Out to Jet in the corner. That should be good, and it is. But still a huge lead for Marquette. They eventually run this clock out, and Marquette comes away with a huge victory over Long Beach State. And we tried. But we just could not keep up. Jason Bennett had 22 points. He was unstoppable. He was a smooth lefty as well. And he hit everything that he shot pretty much. 
and he had a game high 22 points in this one but it was just too much for long beach here as the talent gap was way too large 71 to 48 we put up a good fight to be honest dalton jet actually led our team in scoring off the bench with 16 he was the only double digit scorer in this one contavian morgan actually had nine he was second in scoring on our team this game it was just not a very pretty game from us zion storm was quiet this game so definitely want to get him a bounce back game so lots of ball had 15 bennett had 22 almost all their starters were in double digits they get the easy victory here at home for marquette and we only shot 35 percent to their 50 so it was definitely a tough game and obviously we were outmatched so they come away with the victory so we continue this non-conference play here in this episode first going up against lamar a team that i think we have a good shot at so we will uh do the game cast here and take a look but look at lamar they are making it close and we are still within four points but then they start to go on a run now an 11 point lead with two minutes to go i would hop in there but it wasn't that close that's not enough time and they end up winning here 68 to 54. look at the rebounds here 45 to 38 it was pretty even but still getting out rebounded we definitely need to work on that rebounding here this season especially now that bass hellcott's out we're definitely in trouble in that department now we go up against miami a team that we are actually outmatched by once again but we're in this one with 13 minutes left here in the second half we're gonna hop into this i think that we could possibly pull this out and get the victory here and maybe bounce back after a couple of bad losses here versus lamar and marquette so let's see we're down by four here in the second half here's work around this time jump shot and it's rebounded by takashi pushed up the floor spratley he's gonna go all the way he's got contact and he gets a foul called so he draws the foul on that transition layup and Spratly goes to the line, averaging 7.4 points so far through the first few games of the season. I definitely want to get him going more on the offensive end. I think he has a skill set that nobody has on this team, and that's getting to the lane and getting to the free throw line as he converts both free throws. So now working it inside. This is Delmatrice Bomaye, and he gets some contact. And he's averaging just about the same, 7.2, but 6.8 rebounds. I definitely want to see him improve in that rebounding department. He's going to need to step up as he misses the first and hits the second. It's back to a three-point game. So after a missed bucket this time, Joyner passes it up. Storm, look at this ball movement. Spratly in the lane, another foul. And we're going to the line early on in this one. And now Spratly, another chance for another two. Here, the first shot is good. Spratly, another one. It's good. Four for four so far with his free throws. And he makes it a one-point game. So 47-46 this time. Working it around to the corner. And Bamaye hits the three. He can hit a few of those. If you let him shoot the ball, he can make those. And now we take the lead. But Miami eventually ties his game up. But in transition, look at this outlet pass all the way up to Zion Storm it's now a two-point game so playing some good defense now creating some possession Storm in transition pulls up it's a three a five-point lead now for Long Beach as now Miami has to come back a little bit we've come all the way back in this one but here's a three-pointer this time Miami knocks it down back to a two-point game so 54-52 Storm with the pick Drives the lane, contact, and he gets it to go. Maybe got away with a little bit of a foul on the defensive end, but he did have, go straight up with that one. But now Miami eventually gets it back to a tie ball game here. 58-58, seven and a half to go. So after the steal this time, setting up their offense, working it inside, jump shot from the elbow. It's good, 60-58. to and now here we're down by two. Contavian Morgan in the game, handling the ball, but passing out to Jet. It's Trevor Williams, and Jet hits it, and we get that lead right back. Now a 61 to 60 lead. This time, Trevor Williams on the perimeter. What is he doing out there? Morgan working it around. Spratley takes the three, and he makes it. There we go. Contavian Morgan. How about him setting up the offense? 
But Miami answers right back with the three of their own. It's now back to a two-point game. So five minutes left this time. Storm back in the game, working it around this time, and it's Dalton Jett. He hits it. Now a five-point game. So here is Storm getting double-teamed. Jett trying to drive the lane out to Trevor Williams. He takes the three. It's missed, but rebounded Buster Howard off the bench. It's now a seven-point game now. Miami trying to jack up these threes to come back. Here's Storm in transition. Hey, look at this. He does go up for a dunk, a very rare one from the 5'10 sophomore point guard. And now we get the lead. And now it's all about closing it out. Here is Storm, pick and roll with a four-point lead. He gets to the bucket. It's now a six-point lead here. Now a minute 15 to go. Missed shot this time, Miami. And rebounding, push it up the court. Storm's got the speed all the way to the lane. Now an eight-point lead here as Miami now has to try to answer back. A three-point attempt. This one off the mark. And they do start to foul here, but what a comeback here from Long Beach. And let's see, J.D. Joyner goes to the line for a one-and-one, and, one, and he hits it. Now a nine-point game. This game is probably out of reach. The second shot opportunity. It's good. Extending this lead to 10 points, Miami just does not have enough to come back. Good win here at home by Long Beach. You got to give it up to Storm. He made a few great shots at the end of that game using the pick and roll, the two-man game, getting to the lane. He had 32. That is a season high for Long Beach so far. He had 32 and 5. Good win versus an ACC opponent. Delmatrice Bomaye had 12 and 12. Good game from him. And Spratley had 18 in this game. Joyner was pretty quiet. He only had two. But Storm get, definitely took the load and ended up being a game high 32. Great game from our bench as well. They played pretty good basketball. And those are the type of teams or type of wins you like to see. So now we go up against Prairie View A&M, and this was supposed to be a game that could have been close, but look at Prairie View. I mean, just straight dominance, 81 to 47. We are out-rebounded once again by 15 rebounds, but look at that field goal percentage, 19 of 61. That's never going to get it done. Next, we go up against Ole Miss, more non-conference play, and look at this. Ole Miss already up 20. 13 minutes to go. Now they're up by about 40, and they score 101 in this game. Where is the defense? They out-rebounded us by double, 44-22. to 22. Just an ugly showing here for Long Beach in a couple of bad wins. It seems like this non-conference schedule is very, very tough this year. Now we go up against Furman. A little bit better than Lamar, but... I think we can make this a game, but already to start the second half, already down 20, and you can just see the rebound total. They're up to 50-something rebounds, and we're not even at 20. They beat us 90-49, to out-rebounding us 53-15. to I mean, man, we are getting dominated so far to start this season. Definitely not the look we're looking for here. And at this point, we have to make some changes. With Baz Hellcott out, I didn't think that it would be this big of an impact. I knew it would be a huge, but it seems like Hellcott is definitely probably our most underrated guy on the roster. You see what happens when he's out. I mean, teams just out-rebound us by a lot. So I'm going to start Buster Howard. He's not as good as a, of a rebounder as Takashi, but he can score. So hopefully that we can, you know, at least keep up scoring a little bit better now with Buster Howard in the starting lineup. We're going to try that going forward, and we'll see how it goes. I need Delmatrius Bamaya to step up. He's averaging 6-6, six and six, which isn't bad, but I definitely want him to kind of elevate his game. Hellcott averaged 8, and he also averaged over a block and a half a game. That was a big, big difference. And we need to make up for that production. Zion Storm leads us with 16 points. Bradley averages 10 points. Those are the only double-digit scores we have right now. And I need to see J.D. Joyner step up as well. You know, he was a very good scorer for us last year. And his points per game are down this year. So hopefully he can get going and really get on the right track. As we are now are sitting here at 2-7. and seven. 
And I think next episode we will finish out non-conference play. Then we'll be the recruiting special. Then we'll get into conference play. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. Hopefully we can make up for the rebounding deficiencies uh, while Baz Hillcott is recovering. So stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I've been working hard for a minute. The ones who don't deserve it seem to be the ones that get it. The ones who speak the truth never get the recognition. But the ones that act foolish seem to get all the attention. It don't matter though. Yeah. And it don't even matter though. Nope. Hey, it don't even matter.